Welcome to World War II Chronicles, a weekly tribute to America's fighting men and women in commemoration of the Second World War. These programs are narrated by Ed Herlihy and are based on the news broadcasts of the war period from the recorded sound collection of the National Archives in Washington, D.C. The Russians announce a tremendous toll of casualties their victorious armies have inflicted on the Germans since the Soviet summer drive began. Since the counteroffensive launched by the Soviets in August 1943, the Red Army had advanced like a steamroller. By September 14th, Adolf Hitler and the German High Command had agreed to retreat to defenses on the west bank of the Dnieper River, the Ukraine's eastern boundary. Red Army troops have cut through broken German lines on a 400-mile front to capture more than 300 towns and villages today. Two days later, the Germans were forced to abandon the Black Sea port of Novorossiysk. Russia's Black Sea naval base, after a year in German hands, falls to the Soviets. From Caucasian foothills surrounding the city on three sides, Russian heavy artillery bombards Novorossiysk for four days and nights. The following week, the Soviets pushed the German army out of Smolensk. Tonight, the Russian armies have reached the Dnieper River at three key points on a 250-mile front, most notably before Kiev the capital of the Ukraine. To the north, they're extending their gains in the region of captured Smolensk. And in the area between Smolensk and Kiev, they've plunged into White Russia and are now within 100 miles of the old Polish border. Outnumbering their German opponents by at least three to one, the Soviets launched a withering attack. On October 25th, they established a bridgehead across the river. In the face of a fierce German counterattack, Russian troops closed in and captured the Ukrainian capital of Kiev. Moscow, already dressed up in holiday trimming to celebrate tomorrow the anniversary of the October Revolution, is going to be in real celebrating mood when the news is released that the Red Army has taken the city, city of Kiev, Queen City of Russia, third largest Soviet city and recognized seat of much of Russian culture. Throughout Russia, there is the tone that Stalin's pledge of two years ago is now about to be realized, that the Germans are being thrown out of Russia. Noting the war in Russia, German propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels commented, We are slowly bleeding to death in the East. I'm Ed Hurrihy. Join me next time for World War II Chronicles. World War II Chronicles was produced by the American Veterans Center and Radio America in cooperation with the National Archives. To listen to more episodes, subscribe on iTunes or visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org. We need your help to keep the legacy of our World War II generation alive. Visit AmericanVeteransCenter.org to make a donation to support World War II Chronicles and the ongoing work of the American Veterans Center.